Hey there, in today's video, we are talking all about the Gucci Soho Disco Bag, the wear and tear on this item, and whether or not I think it's still a good investment in 2021. If you are considering purchasing the Gucci Soho, we are going to get into all of the details, starting with why you might want a crossbody like this. Now, to me, what drew me to this bag in particular, I've had it for about three years now, is that I was specifically shopping for a casual crossbody bags. And surprisingly enough, there's actually not that many designer crossbodies, especially with this shape that I would consider a little bit more on the casual side. Some of the other bags that I looked at included the Chloe Marcy, the mini Marcy. I would consider this kind of like a good contender to the Gucci Soho because it's more subtle in its design. It's got this very classic look and shape to it. But ultimately I ended up deciding against it because the actual round shape of the bag, it you can't actually put that much stuff into it. When I was speaking to the sales associates, they were telling me it's a little bit of a pain and it's not really as practical as you would like. And for me, I really wanted an everyday bag and an everyday bag has to be practical. So that was out. Another option would have been the Ferragamo. Ferragamo has a city leather camera bag, which is super cute, but it's slightly smaller than the Gucci Soho. So that's what ultimately had me looking and making the decision to purchase this bag. Now there's tons of designer camera bags out there and tons of crossbodies. But again, like I said, there's not a lot of them that are casual. I wanted something that I could take to the playground for a birthday party or out with my kids I could go to the grocery store like not a lot of embellishment and in general a lot of the crossbodies you know Saint Laurent Gucci they have all like the gold hardware on them they have lots of blingy details and I wanted something that was just more understated and it just a little bit just a little bit less, so to speak. So for me, that was one of the biggest things is I needed a crossbody that was good for every day where you can fit tons inside of it that had kind of a timeless, understated appeal and was casual. You can actually fit a ton of stuff in here. It is totally a workhorse. I'm gonna show you exactly how much fits, even though I don't carry it full to the brim. I can put in a full size wallet. This is my Saint Laurent wallet. To be honest, I don't carry this on the daily, but just to give you a size comparison, this is the size of the wallet and this is the size of the handbag. So in it goes without any problems. There's still plenty of room inside to fit more in there. Usually if I'm carrying my bag, I might have my sunglasses so I can fit my sunglasses in there as well. I might have like a small toiletry bag where I keep my chapstick, my lip gloss, just, you know, small little things. And so that fits in there. I still have room in here. I mean, it's getting pretty full, but I can still fit in my phone, my face mask and my keys. Now, typically I don't carry a full size wallet. I carry this Prada keychain. I do have a full review of this already. If you haven't seen it, it's linked below, but honestly, I carry this in all of my crossbodies instead of the full size wallet that I showed you, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how much you can actually fit in this bag. So it's all zipped up and I've got, like I said, it is packed in here. And that was one of the biggest, one of the most surprising things about this bag is it's like deceivingly roomy on the inside. Just looking at it from the outside, it doesn't make you think you can fit that much in it, but the way that this bag is shaped and since it's just like a big compartment in the middle, like you can actually fit a ton of items in here. I've been really happy with, you know, it not being an awkward shape. Like I said, if when I was looking at like the Chloe, the mini Marcy, the Mar Marcy crossbody itself is such an awkward shape. It's not like you could put a regular, you know, wallet in there, but this is a normal shaped bag. So you can pick a normal toiletry bag, your cosmetic pouch, your cell phone. They all kind of have this rectangle shape. So this works really, really well. Like I said, I don't typically carry a full size wallet. I typically just have my keys that I drop in there, my sunglasses, which were already in there, my cell phone, of course, and then I usually bring a smaller one so that there's lots of room. But you can see that I still have like a ton, I have a ton of room left in there. So I also don't have to pull everything out when I'm looking for something. To me, that was one of the biggest reasons that I wanted the keychain, the product keychain, because I don't love to stuff my bag to the point where I have to pull everything out to find something. I do want room so I can open it and then look at a glance and then pull something out. Even though it's nice to know that you can stuff it to the brim, I never recommend doing it and I try not to do it because then it just makes it really hard to find anything. 
as far as sizing details, like always, I'm gonna insert some mod shots. I am five foot four for reference. The strap itself is a 22 inch strap. And what's nice about it is you can adjust the strap. There's about five holes here. So you can adjust it to make it longer or shorter, however you want the length to be on you. And then as far as the bag details, like I said, it's pretty understated, which I like. It has the tassel on the side, which my cat seems to totally love. So I have to constantly hide this bag from him. We've got gold hardware here and on the zipper. And like I said, I've had this for about three years or so, and it's still in pretty good shape. When you open it up on the inside, there are two, it is a linen material inside, and it is a light linen material, FYI. Um, it does have two teeny tiny interior pockets. I kind of find them useless. I don't know what, but sometimes I'll put, you know, like a loose card in there, but for the most part, I don't really use that interior pocket that much. One of them does have the Gucci logo on it, which I'll do a close up so that you can see even better. But the other one is just a plain sewn in pocket. So as far as wear and tear, like I said, I've had this bag for about three years or so and I don't really even see any scratches on it. She is in really, really good shape. I was concerned that it's a bit of a softer leather and that I would get scratches, uh, especially since I went for the beige color that it might show up a little bit more than on the black, but it looks really great still and I don't, I don't see any scratches on it. Even the interior is in better shape than I would have expected because it's like a light linen material. So I thought it would get you know my lipstick would spill or whatever but honestly i usually put all my things inside another cosmetics pouch before it goes in here so i haven't really had a lot of issues with that either so i will say that one of my concerns when purchasing this bag in case you may be concerned of this as well is that a lot of people said that it would lose its shape easily because if you don't have it full it does something like this you know and you can see that it kind of starts to kind of like cave in a little bit. Honestly, I haven't personally had an issue with this. If you don't keep this bag stuffed, then yes, I can see that happening. If you're not using it, I always recommend keeping your bag stuffed. You can get like these air bags, these like puffy air bags. I'll link some below if you don't have like the original packing material that it came in, or you can use like literally socks or just the actual dust bag. I just try to make sure that mine is full so that it retains its shape. But since I use mine so often, I personally haven't had an issue with this, but just so you know, some people have complained about it. So this bag comes in black and red and the nude color, and I believe there's a pink color as well. You can find them on, you know, for resale if you're interested in different colors. I specifically wanted like an everyday bag that was more of a neutral color so that I can wear it with a variety of different outfits, especially since I live in Arizona. So my wardrobe tends to be a little bit on the lighter side. We have a, you know, really long spring, summer, basically like a blip of winter. So for me, this color was exactly what I needed. Okay, so is this bag still in style for 2021 and is it worth it? I'm going to say yes, and here is why. I believe that subtle bags that are classic like this and they, they're just timeless. I know it had its moment where it was super, super popular and every, every blogger was carrying it and it was trendy, but that moment's passed and I think that this still is a gorgeous handbag. By no means is it something that I look at and think, oh, that bag has definitely had its day, like it's over, not at all. I think that when you start getting into certain colors and when you start getting into really embellished bags or bags with like huge logos on them, things that make them like super like, hey, look at me, then you're kind of getting into handbags that may not have as much staying power and they may not be considered timeless or classic. And you know, this isn't like that. Plus it's shape itself. You know, the camera bag is a very classic shape. It's just a practical handbag. So even though it's 2021 as I'm filming this, I still think that this handbag is still very stylish. If you want an everyday casual crossbody, I would highly recommend it. Uh, right now, I believe it's priced at $1,200 and I will link a couple options to you. You can get it at Gucci, Nordstrom, Farfetch, whatever your favorite retailer is. I'll try and link a few options for you below. For as much use as I've gotten out of this bag, like 100%, 100% worth it, I would highly recommend. And I definitely see myself carrying this bag for like many, many more years to come. So if you're on the fence, I would absolutely recommend it. 
If you love handbag videos, by the way, I'm gonna link a couple other ones for you that I've done below. I just did a video on spring 21 trends that you can watch next and a couple other reviews of some new items in my collection. Let me know in the comments below if you agree and if you think this is a classic crossbody and I'd be curious what your favorite crossbody is right now as well. I have this one for my everyday and I also have a Gucci Marmont that I carry in black. Those are like my two like everyday bags but I'm always open to exploring more and getting inspired and seeing what you guys are loving too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would absolutely love to have you. I do videos about designer handbags and fashion try-ons once a week here on my channel, so then you will never miss a beat. So anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.